hello hello okay royal family i am back and this time i am being really really naughty but i'm going to give you guys a very simple delicious cake mix box cake mix uh cake i don't know if you guys are old enough to remember how my mom and my grandma would do a cake and they would put this icing on it. It would kind of, uh, it would be real lemony. And you know, once it, uh, you spread it on the top of it, it would kind of crust up. I mean, it was simply delicious. So I'm going to do that today. Uh, and this is also a good recipe that you can use, um, for your holiday table. Um, we're still kind of going on the hors d'oeuvres and um, I might try to do these in little rounds, but first I'm going to do it in a nine by 13 and then we'll see where we go from there. But anyway, we're just going to use a simple uh, Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Lemon Supreme Cake Mix. We're going to follow the instructions on the back except it says one cup of water, three large eggs, and one third cup of vegetable oil. I want you to change the one third cup to one half cup of canola oil. Bake at 350 for 22 to 27 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and do this according to the directions on the box. So let me get this stirred up and then I'll come back and show you what we'll do next. All right, into the oven it goes for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then we'll come back and I'll show you what we'll do next. See you in a few. Okay, Royal Family, in this bowl here, I have one and a half cups of powdered sugar and I have one third cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. So what I want you to do is add a little lemon juice at a time and that the one third cup of lemon juice equals about, I'm gonna say two lemons. So add a little lemon juice at a time because you want this icing to be thick. You don't want it thinned out, you want it to be thick. So I did one third cup but if I find out one third cup is too much, I will come back and correct the recipe. And I have to use a mixer for this, so I will come back and show you how thick it should be once I start mixing it up. All right, Royal Family. One third cup was exactly what is needed for this recipe. Let me show you how thick you want it to be. See that? And as the old folks used to do, they're gonna pour it on top of the cake. No, we're not gonna punch holes or anything in the cake. And it's gonna kinda, I'm not gonna say harden up, but you will see what I mean. So the icing is ready. Let me show you the cake. The cake is ready. So we're gonna let it cool probably for about 20 minutes. Then I'll come on and put the icing on and let that sit for about 10 minutes. And then when I come back, I will reveal the finished product. Oh my God, you guys, this cake is so, so delicious. All right, you guys, I've iced the cake and you see what I mean by the icing? It's kind of a stiff icing. I want you guys to see that. So what I'm gonna do next is plate it up hors d'oeuvre style, since we're going with the uh, food for the hors d'oeuvres and you know plating it up separately. But this is the icing that I was telling you guys about. All right, let's get it plated up in this beautiful presentation. And I will come back. All 
Okay, Royal family, here is the finished product of Grandma's Lemon Cake. Uh, I guess I would say Grandma's Lemon Cake with the special icing. You guys, when I tell you this is to die for, and it costs around $11, uh, and you can get probably 10 or 12 squares out of it. Uh, really good bargain. Really tastes delicious. And all I did for the contrast, I put them in black plates, and I added some fresh fruit. Uh, blueberries and raspberries, which really makes it pop off of the plate. When Mrs. O tell you, I promise you, if you try this, it is freaking amazing. And please make sure to use it in a nine by 13. That way you'll get a lot of squares out of it and you get a big bang for your buck. But I wanna come up closer and show you the icing. I'm wondering if you can hear it. Can you hear that? That's how uh, in the old times, my mom would make it, uh, my auntie would make it. They would just get some confection sugar, but they call it powder sugar. They always had lemons and put it in there and it would make the most delicious icing. My grandbaby said yesterday, oh my God, granny, this is so delicious. She even wanted to take some for her lunch. Again, the presentation, uh, square them out, put you some fresh fruit on it, which will make it look absolutely gorgeous. And I just, you know, set it under the Santa Claus with the peppermint sticks, you know, to make it kind of look festive. But again, you guys, Thank you so much for watching. Please share and subscribe. Please comment below. And I will see you guys again soon. No, I'm not participating in the Vlogmas. I'm sorry, you guys. There is no way I could do a video every day. I'm going to come with you next um, on some little bite-sized savory. Mm, not going to tell you the rest. The, but there will be bite-sized and savory, and they will make such a delicious dish on your table. Something different, not the same old, same old. God bless you, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you.